Hey guys, my name is Funpuro. I noticed that a lot of players take the biscuit delivery rune when they go inspiration and most of the time I don't think that's correct. In this video I'll go over why this rune is overused and even a mistake and then provide better alternatives. Let's get right into the video. So what does biscuit delivery do? The rune says that you'll receive a total biscuit of everlasting will at 2 minutes, 4 minutes, and at 6 minutes. If you have full inventory, you will get a biscuit when you obtain a free inventory slot. When you consume the biscuit, you'll get 50 mana, and you'll also permanently increase your maximum mana by 50. Consuming the biscuit also restores 10% of your maximum health, and 10% of your maximum mana, and 12% of your maximum health for manaless champions. So here's the thing, a lot of the time people don't even use their biscuits, they would hold their biscuits and then sell them. However, if the goal in mind when taking biscuits is to never use and to only sell them, why not just take Futures Market? There's a better rune that helps you curve into your power spike faster. For example, you can start Sapphire Crystal and you can get Lost Chapter by 4 minutes. If you take Futures Market in Jungle and do a full clear, you can get full tier 2 boots when running Predator Fiddlesticks. You can also use Futures Market on Gangplank to get an early Sheen. With a good CSing ability or just the ability in general to get good gold income, you'll get tremendous and more value from Futures Market over Biscuits. If you need to use the Biscuits, then it can probably be fixed by playing better. If you believe that mana is the problem, then mana flow ban is probably a pretty good option as well. Mana flow, mana flow ban says that if you affect an enemy champion with an ability, your maximum mana will permanently increase by 25 until 250 mana. Your current mana will be preserved. After you reach 250 mana, you will permanently restore 1% of your missing mana every 5 seconds. Biscuit delivery is restricted by its timings and by the fact that you only get 3 mana flow will be permanently there for the entire game. Even though it's early form of the rune is weaker than Biscuits, if you just play better or adjust your play, the results would be better overall. But even when you can't take both trees, adjusting the way you play so you don't have to use Biscuits is the way to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like to see next. Also, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.